Hello guys, today I'll give you my thoughts on Ecoline, the original green corporation. You'll learn when to pick it, how to play it and what changes in the expansions. Let's get started. Ecoline starts with 36 mega credits, 2 plant production, 3 plants and the plant tech. Its ability reads, you may always pay 7 plants instead of 8 to place a greenery. Ecoline is a corp that specializes in one thing and one thing only, the ground game. It starts with 36 mega credits, which is little starting capital in comparison to other corporations. This means that you need to rely on your bonus to make the most of your starting hand. If you do not have good early game cities or reliable early to mid game plant prod, you might want to pick a different corp. For all strategies other than the ground game, Ecoline has nothing going for it, and too little starting capital to make them work. The best card to see in your opening 10 is Protected Habitats. Since most of the time Ecoline is the only corp accumulating plants in the early game, you are the prime target for asteroids and comets, negating your only strength. But with Protected Habitats, you're safe and games tend to go much smoother with it. When playing a ground game in the early stages of the game, you need to know a few basic strategies. This is true for every corp and most certainly for Ecoline. I just mentioned that you'll probably be the only one having plants laying around, waiting for the right amount to convert. To avoid getting nuked all the time, try to actively get some plants to reach 7, maybe by placing an ocean or a special tile or playing something like Noctis farming, and then convert immediately. Every turn you sit there with unused plants is a risk. Of course, you can ignore this advice when you have protected tabs. Then you can freely choose when to convert and it can make sense to wait a few turns or even maybe a generation to secure a spot with a city first. If you want to know the best city spots on every map, I recently made a video talking about that. When placing greeneries with Ecoline, most of the time you need to place them defensively. What do I mean with that? Well, you lack the money to place a lot of cities. But you have a lot of plants. If you can, try to place the greeneries in a way such that other players cannot profit off of them. If you want to learn more about offensive and defensive tile placement, go watch this video. Ecoline, you often get into the situation where you place greeneries without having any city on the board, or even in hand. This is not a catastrophe. Every greenery you place is still worth 2 points, and even if someone places a city next to them, he will only get a maximum of 2 points from your greeneries if you do it right. Why? Well, of course you should try to place your greeneries to grab good placement bonuses, but again, do it defensively. You need to place them next to each other, but you can place them in a straight line, such that every spot next to them only gives a maximum of 2 points for a city. Another concept that helps you with defensive tile placement is teleportation. If you place your greeneries in one area and then get cock blocked by one or two cities, it is great to have a tile placement card on hand. Place it somewhere else on the map and suddenly you can continue playing your greeneries over there. Of course, a city card is perfect for that, that's obvious. But if you have none on hand, do not hesitate to use something like nuclear zone or mining rights. Since placement bonuses are a reliable way of getting plants to convert, city cards, special tiles and especially ocean cards are really good for Ecoline. This gets me to my next point, playing a tempo game. With Ecoline you focus on placing greeneries. These are most efficient when there are still oxygen steps to make. If that track is maxed out and the game goes on longer, other corps with a better economy and a focus on card points will beat you. Therefore, you should try to use ocean cards and heat production to speed up the game as much as you can and grab more points on the terraforming tracks than your opponents. Cards like Towing a Comet or Imported Hydrogen are really good as they assist you in your ground game but also push the oceans. Efficient heat producers like Mohol Area are also great, that one of course in particular because of the placement bonus. Be mindful when playing early game plant production cards. It is true that you benefit from them more than any other corp, but there was this weird game decision to overprice these cards heavily, making them borderline ineffective. Compare for example Adapted Lycan to Bushes. The former costs nearly the same but gives much less value. Even for Ecoline Adapted Lycan isn't a good card, and this is even magnified by the fact that you have so little starting cash. You only want to play the most efficient cards when you only have 36 mana credits at the start of the game. Playing with Ecoline involves playing a lot of plant and microbe techs as well as city cards. Watch out for combo cards like Ecological Zone, NIA and Immigrant City. I've put some other combo cards on the screen for you. 
One of the best cards for Ecoline is Arctic Algae. With it, placing an ocean can yield four plants or more with specific cards, which often allows you to safely convert plants to greeneries. And lastly, for milestones and awards, in the base game Ecoline can often grab Gardener, and Landlord is almost always a safe body fund. Other than that, it can be hard to compete with stronger corps. If you play a good tempo game, you can maybe go for Terraformer, and if you have some early city cards on hand, Maya can be an option. The addition of preludes generally helps Ecoline. Not because the planned preludes are any good, with the exception of Supply Drop, the planned preludes are actually quite bad, but because poor corps benefit more strongly percentage wise than rich corps from an increase in their starting capital or production. Pinus Next and Colonies, on the other hand, do not favor Ecoline in any way. They introduce new gameplay mechanics in which Ecoline is not as good as other richer corps, and these expansions do not help a lot with playing a ground game. When considering Turmoil, this expansion introduces the politics systems, and Ecoline certainly loves the Green Party. A 4 mega credit rebate for playing a greenery is insanely useful, and the policy bonus can also be quite nice. There are also two new cool cards relying on the greens, and especially GMO Contract has huge potential for Ecoline. If you play this in the first gen, when greens are guaranteed to be in power, you will get huge rebates throughout the game. The only problem, in most cases the other players will favor other corps more and will prevent the greens from getting to power too often. And you don't have the money to buy delegates regularly. Mars First is a nice second option, with a steel rebate for all tiles placed. Another upside for the expansions is the fact that they introduce almost no new plant destroying cards. These two are the only ones and they are really bad. This severely limits the chance that your opponents will hit your plants and helps you out enormously. For milestones and rewards, Ecoline obviously loves Ecologist as well as Cultivator. Other than that, you will have a hard time. So, all in all, I think Ecoline is a severely limited corp in its playstyle as well as its strength. You can't close out the game fast enough, or if your opponents hit you with asteroids every turn, you have almost no chance. But if everything works out, you have one of the strongest ground games possible. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial on Ecoline, and if you did, please leave a like and consider subscribing. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.